Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about keyframes and its different properties and finally give you an example of what can be done with them. Keyframes work kind of the same way as transition since you can see the transformation of the element in a given period of time, yet keyframes give way more control over the animation's flow. With transition we talk about only two states, an initial state and a final state, however with the animation we can work with a multitude of states because we are breaking the animation into a number of sequences that take place one after another until reaching the final state. Also, with keyframes a trigger isn't required to start an animation. With keyframes, we create the animation separately of the element that we want to animate and then specify what happens during the period between the states. The first property to use is the animation name, which indicates what animation we want to use to animate an element. The second property is the animation duration, which is the time that takes for the animation to take place. Animation Timing Function This property adds more realism to the animation like giving an elastic or stretching look and feel. We can set a delay before triggering the animation with the animation delay property. After the end of the animation, the element returns to its initial state by default, but given the forwards value to the animation fill mode property, we can leave it at the final state.
we can use backwards which is the default behavior With animation iteration count, you can specify how many times the animation can take place. You can either set a numeric value or infinite, which will make the animation run indefinitely. You can use animation direction to specify if you want to reverse the animation from the final state to the initial state or maybe alternate from the initial to the final, then from the final to the initial state and so on. Finally, the animation play state, which specify if you want to run the animation or pause it. Same as transition, you can use a shorthand syntax and choose which of the different properties you want to use. That being said, let me show you a basic example of what can be done with keyframes.
This is the third of a series of videos that covers the web animation topic, so make sure to not miss any of the coming videos by subscribing and see you in the next one.